Welcome. Thanks for joining me. Today it's all about the core. And just so you know, our core from shoulders to about mid thigh, front side, side waist, back side, all of that's our core. So it's not just going to be our abdominals, those front ones, those six pack abs are going to work. We're going to work everything. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so hopefully, go along with your breath. Try and make this a little bit of a mindful um, movement as you go. Take breaks when you need to. Try to continuous, have continuous breath. And lucky for us, we get to start on our backs. So go ahead and make your way onto your back. As you make your way on your back, you may want to have a strap handy. You may want to have a block handy to come down. If you don't have a block, have a pillow. And with the pillow, you'll use it in a different fashion than the block. But you just want to have something to pass between your hands and your feet. And then go ahead and lay down onto your back. Settle in here. Take any shape you'd like. Some time here on your back, just settle in. Your knees can be bent, your legs can be straight. Just take a little yogi's choice here before we get into our core. And just kind of notice how your body's feeling, checking in here, scanning over, acknowledging the areas that are so happy to be laying on the mat right now. And then acknowledging those areas that are feeling a little tight. A little sensitive, especially be mindful of your low back if you have low back issues. Be mindful of that area. We're going to really use our core, so hopefully it's going to strengthen that area and it's not going to cause any other issues in that area. But just be mindful if you start to feel anything that's not quite right. Don't go as deep. Um, we're going to really focus on our breath too to allow us to get in deeper and hold deeper and just kind of notice the sensations that are happening in our body. So once you've scanned over the body, start to check in a little bit deeper, checking in with the mind, acknowledging what type of day it's been. Then take a nice deep inhale and let it go. Allowing whatever happened in the past to be let go and just holding on here into the present moment. Start to set intention for your practice today. What brought you to your mat? What is your purpose? Maybe it's to find that awareness in your core, the reason for showing up today for this practice. Whatever that intention is, let it take hold in your mind's eye. And we'll set that intention with either one ohm or a sigh of the breath. So we're gonna take one hand place it over your heart center, one hand over your belly. Exhale fully. Take a nice full inhale. Cool. Then taking your hands, maybe rest them on your belly, maybe rest them on your ribs, maybe rest them like cactus arms, whatever's going to feel best to your body today. And start to draw your attention to your breath. And just kind of notice as you breathe all the areas that move, the difference in the tightness and the looseness of your clothes as your ribs and your belly start to expand and contract. Maybe the movement of the hands if they're on the belly. And so our core is so much more than just those abdominals that cut run down the front of our body, right? Our, our core, our, our having a strong core means that you need to have strong glutes. You need to have strong hip flexors, which run across the top of the hip and down the thigh. You need to have strong adductors, your inner thighs, and abductors, your outer thighs. You need to have a strong side waist, strong serratus, which is those little muscles just under your armpit that help us in our handstand. We need to have strong shoulders. So we're going to be working all of those areas, but in general, we're working through that midsection from basically from mid thigh to almost up to the top of our rib cage. So we're going to be really focusing in on that area today and just noticing, building strength there, noticing your stretch in those areas as much as you are building strength. So with knowing that, 
See if you can breathe a little bit deeper and kind of touch those areas. See if you can breathe super deep down into your pelvis. And as you continue to breathe, can you breathe all the way up to your armpits? So continue to breathe here, finding a breath that's comfortable to you. Let's see if you can really feel that whole core section be engaged with the breath. A couple more rounds of breath here. And you're going to notice during some times when it gets tough today, you're going to want to hold your breath or you're going to forget to breathe. See if you can always come back to that breathing, that mindfulness of your practice, right? So make it a little meditation, a meditation of awareness of what's going on in your body. And wherever you are in your breathing cycle, exhale fully, bend the knees if they're straight. Take your hands by your side. And then from here, you're just gonna do a little pelvic tilt. So you're gonna send your sit bone toward the end of your mat as you inhale. So creating a little bit of space under your low back. So you're arching your back. And as you exhale, pull that low belly and the spine toward the floor as your hips kind of lift up off the ground. Inhale, lengthen the tailbone down. Exhale, round. So just warming up that low back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. One last time. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, round. Good. Keeping that pelvic tilt, but relax the glutes so that low back's pressing into the floor. Hands are by the side, and then just hover the heels one inch. So you're going to feel that low belly turn on. You're going to feel those hip flexors turn on. Good. Keep breathing nice and deep. Good. Take one more big inhale here. And then exhale, release the feet down. Relax the glutes, relax the belly, come back to neutral spine. Good. And then from here, press down into those hands. Draw into the low belly, so press that low back toward the floor. And then hover the heels and bring your knees so they stack over your hips. Ankles can draw together if that feels good, or you can keep them apart. And then bring your arms out like cactus. We're going to do some little mobility twists. Take an inhale here. And as you exhale, go over toward the right, maybe two or three inches so you feel the core engage. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the left. Inhale to center so it's not all the way to the floor. Exhale to the right. Inhale to center, keep that low back pressing down, exhale left. Inhale center, exhale right and hold. Flex through the feet, press down into those elbows. Can you send your tailbone more toward your heels and can you draw your knees closer to your chest? Good, take another inhale. As you exhale, can you lower the knees any little bit more? Keep hovering. And then inhale, bring the knees all the way back up to center. And exhale over to the left, pause. Good, tailbone toward heels, heels toward bum, knees toward chest. Take another inhale there. As you exhale, can you lower the knees any little bit more? Keep them hovering. And then on your inhale, take those knees back up to center. Exhale, feet to floor. So in core activity, especially when we're engaging the core, anytime you want to have a strong core, you're going to inhale to fill up the abdominals anytime you move those legs back up to the center. Exhale there. Ah, take those legs straight up to the ceiling. So if you need that cushion or you need a flat padding underneath your back or even your hands underneath your hips, you can do that if you need that there. We're going to do one leg at a time, leg lowers. Take an inhale here. Legs are nice and active. Exhale, lower and hover the right leg. Inhale, brings it back up. You can always bend your knees if you need to. Exhale, lowers the left. Inhale, back up. Exhale, lower. Right side, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower left. One more each side. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, left. Inhale, left. Pause if you need to, hug the knees. You can continue on with right and left side or two legs. Again, you can always bend your knees and the heels will hover to take less of a load. Take an inhale here. 
Exhale, lower. Engage the legs. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. You got three more. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Last one, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower, hold, engage the core, engage those glutes, press that low belly to the floor, maybe curl the chest up. Take another inhale. Exhale, head down. Inhale, lift the legs up. And exhale, hug the knees into the chest. Good, maybe place the feet on the floor. Check in, notice what's firing up, right? The front side, the abdominus, rectus going across the front. We're now gonna get into the obliques, those crisscross abs that go across our side waist. Here's where if you have a block or a pillow, it's gonna come in handy. You're gonna bend those knees again, draw your low back to the floor. You're gonna take a block, and if you can, you're going to take that block and press it into your thigh, do opposite, so right leg, left elbow, pressing that block in. If you don't have a block, just reach toward it or maybe even touch your knee with your hand, right? So we're gonna do some crossing over while we do some leg lowers. So take that left leg up toward the ceiling, rotate toward the right, hands behind the head, exhale, lower the leg. Inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower, hover. Press knee into elbow, elbow into knee. Take another big inhale. Exhale, hold. Inhale, lift the knee. Exhale, release the head. Let the feet come down. Pause for a moment. You're probably feeling that left side. Let's work the right side. Taking that block or pillow or hand to the left knee, bend your knees, low belly presses in, right elbow to block or thigh. Hands behind the head, rotate toward the left. Inhale, takes that right leg up to the ceiling. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more time, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower, hold, don't forget to breathe. Big inhale, engage the core. Low belly presses, rotate, take an inhale. Hold to exhale. Inhale, lifts the leg. Exhale, releases the head down. Bend the knees, take a moment there. Good, maybe windshield wiper the legs. That's gonna give you a little stretch across the core if you're feeling that. Hopefully you are. Good. This next one, we're going to do a little um, block pass. So we're going to do two versions. The first version is probably the easier one. The second one, we're going to get a little bit harder. So they're going to kind of progress each of these. So again, working on whole body strength. So if you have a block, if you don't have a block, you can use a pillow and do the same idea. If you have a pillow, what I'd like you to do instead of squeezing the pillow with your hands, I'd like you to try to pull the pillow apart, right? So if you have a block though, you are going to squeeze the block. So taking the block back overhead, extend the legs wide, or sorry, extend the legs long. Squeeze into the block. Then drop the shoulder heads onto the back. Take an inhale there. And then as you exhale, you're gonna lift the legs, lift the arms. You're gonna take that block or pillow, pass it between the ankles, take another inhale. Exhale, lower arms and legs. Good. Inhale, brings the arms up, legs up. As you exhale, pass the block, lower the legs. Inhale, lifts up, pass the block. Exhale, lower. Good, inhale, lift up. Exhale to the hands, lower legs. Good, last time here, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, blocks in the hands, lower down, pause. Relax the shoulders, let go of the grip of the block. Notice if you have any tension in the back of the neck. Try not to grip there, try not to grip your teeth, use your breath. So this next one, if you're okay in your low back, we're gonna actually sit up all the way when we pass the block to our feet. 
If that's not comfortable for you, continue doing what we just did. All right? So reach those arms back overhead. Engage the legs. This is where the whole core comes in using those hip flexors. Flex through the feet. Take an inhale. As you exhale, lift yourself up. Inhale, reach toward the feet. Engage the core. Exhale, roll back down. Arms reach overhead. Inhale, legs lift. Exhale, feet back toward your hands. Inhale, legs up. Exhale, roll legs down nice and slow. Keep reaching through those hands. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, reach forward. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, roll back. Inhale, bring those legs up. Exhale, overhead, grabbing onto the block with the hands. Inhale, legs to ceiling. Exhale, lower to the floor. Last round here. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, come forward. Inhale, roll back. Exhale, feet up. Inhale, legs over. Exhale, legs all the way to the floor. Relax the legs, relax the arms. So full body there, right? You're feeling it from your hips to your shoulders, your core, all of that. Huh. Nice work. So from here, we're gonna roll ourselves up into a little ball, hug your knees, rock a little bit from side to side. And then your choice, you can either roll over to one side to press yourself up, or continue rocking and rolling, use a little bit of momentum, Come all the way up to hands and knees. And again, if you have a block, maybe try or having a couple blocks, maybe try a little different cat cow here action. If you don't have the blocks, don't worry about it. Just do normal cat cow. Right hand on the block though, left knee on the block. Toes tucked. So you're a little bit asymmetrical, right? Kind of feels weird. Press down into the hands as you inhale, lengthen forward. You're going to feel that left hip lift. Exhale, round, inhale, lengthen, exhale, round, one more time here, inhale, lengthen, exhale, round, inhale to neutral, as you exhale, release and switch sides if you have the blocks, if you don't have the blocks, we're going to do three more rounds of cat count, inhale, lengthen, exhale, round, Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. I just find this gets a little bit deeper into those tissues that we just worked. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, round. And inhale comes to neutral. Exhale, go and release those. Place those blocks just off to the side. We will come back to them, I promise. And then ground down into those hands and knees. We're going to do a little knee to nose. Right? So from here, taking your right leg, extend it back. Draw in through the low belly, hover the leg. Good, so engaging, pressing into the hands, pulling those thumbs toward one another. Take an inhale here, exhale, knee to those. Inhale, lengthen back. Remember, don't lift the heel, just push it straight back. Exhale, knee to those. Inhale, lengthen back. Exhale, knee to those. One more time, inhale, lengthen back. Exhale, knee to nose, pause. Press into those hands, round the spine, pull heel to bum, knee to nose, maybe kiss it. And then inhale, lengthen back. Exhale, knee down. Switching sides. Left leg extends back, pull into the low belly, press into the hands, and then hover the foot. So foot's pressing back, not lifting up. Take an inhale here. Exhale, round. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. One more time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Hold. Press into those hands. Heel to bum. Draw the knee toward those. Maybe kiss it. Inhale, lengthen. Back. Exhale, knee down. Find child's pose for a moment. So you can do that same one again, or we're going to add on. So we're going to go into plank. So same idea, but with plank. Not downward dog, but plank. So a little bit harder for the core, a little bit more strength for the arms. So if you find that too much, go to uh, the normal cat-cat. So shift your weight forward. Straighten the legs. Find your plank. Good. 
ground down into those hands. Tail on toward your heels, drop up through the low belly, find a little bit of rounding into the spine already in the upper back. Good, and then hover the right leg back. Remember, you're pushing it back. Take an inhale here. Exhale, round knee to nose. Inhale, straight back plank. Exhale, knee to nose. One more time, inhale, lengthen back. Exhale, knee to nose, hold, pull in, point the toe, kiss the knee. Inhale, lengthens it back. Exhale, knees down, sit back, child's pose for a moment, give those wrists a break. Find your breath, were you holding your breath? Try to really use your breath. Exhale here. Inhale, shift forward plank. Good, find that plank again, draw into the belly, grip your fingers into the mat. Find your breath, find a little bit of rounding in the upper back to begin, and then hover the left leg. Good, so it's pushing back. Take an inhale there. Exhale, round. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. One more time, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round, really round, pull it in, pull it in, pull it in, kiss it. Inhale, sends it back. Exhale, knees down, hips to heels, child's pose. Take a couple breaths there. Notice the way the body's working, whole core here. So kind of adding on a little bit again, adding in a couple little movements here from plank, getting into our side waist. Inhale, come forward, plank. Exhale. Good, from here you're gonna drop your left knee, have a block or a strap nearby, and then turn your left knee out to the side, drop your right heel down, and then lift your chest coming into gate pose. So if you need some padding underneath that left knee, please do, and sitting up into gate pose. Good. And then so from here, we're just gonna take our left arm, reach it up and over, just get a little stretch into that left side waist. Maybe the right hand comes behind you, opening up the chest. Gonna take another big inhale. Exhale. Inhale comes back to center. As you exhale, that left hand's gonna either come down to the block or the floor. Find your balance. And then you're gonna take that right leg lifted toward the ceiling. Good. If you find really good balance today, maybe that right arm reaches up. Right? And then from here, you're gonna take an inhale. As you exhale, bend your top elbow and your top knee toward one another. Inhale, lengthen back out. Exhale, touch. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, touch. One more time, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, touch, hold. Flex the foot, crunch. Inhale, lengthen. Good, as you exhale, place that foot down again. Lift the hips forward as you rotate the chest back and reach that top arm over. Get a stretch on that right side waist. Press into that bottom hand. Right ribs lift. Take another inhale. Exhale. Inhale, top arm reaches. Exhale, press yourself back up, gate pose. Good, so this is again where you're gonna have some options. Hands can be on your hips. Hands can be behind the head. Hands can be block overhead or pulling a strap. So we're gonna do a little bit of movement here with our upper body. So whatever you choose, choose wisely. I'm going to choose hands behind my head to start. Good, from here you're gonna inhale, lengthen to the right. Exhale, lengthen to the left. Can you stay sideways? Good, inhale, come back up to the right. Exhale to the left. Good, one more time, inhale up. Exhale, over, hold. Hover, press the hips forward. Can you keep breathing? Press into that right leg, take an inhale. Exhale, push yourself up. And release those hands. Right, left hand's gonna come to the floor, right arm's gonna reach up. And over, stretch that side waist out again. If you're feeling comfortable, balance, hover that back leg, maybe bend the back knee, grab on, find a stretch in the quadricep. Good, open up, maybe lean it back, find a stretch into the belly. Big inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, releases that out. Exhale, right hand down, right knee down. 
your choice, either child's pose or maybe sometimes a downward facing dog feels good. Stretching out that side waist. Nice big inhale here. And exhale. Inhale, shift forward to plank. This time as you exhale, your right knee is going to come down. I'm just going to shift the other side. Right toes will go behind you. Left leg comes out to the side. Lift yourself up for gate pose. So right knees down, left legs up, hands to your hips. Good. And then from here, take that left arm, reach it down the leg, stretching out that right side. Waist is going to feel really good after that last exercise we did. Relax the shoulders. And then inhale, come back up to center. And as you exhale, right hand to the floor, left arm reaches. And then take that arm overhead, find a nice stretch here. And then from here, bring yourself back up. And then from here, you're going to take that bottom leg, hover it. Good. And then top elbow, bottom knee, you're going to touch. Take an inhale here. Exhale, touch. Inhale, open. Exhale, touch. Inhale, open. Exhale, touch, hold. Press knee into elbow. Inhale, open. Exhale, foot down. As you inhale, top arm over, stretch it out. That right hip draws forward, open the chest, take it down. Exhale. Inhale, presses yourself back up. And again, so using your block if you'd like, right? So you have block overhead. You have hands behind the head or hands at your hips. Press down into that extended leg, press the hips slightly forward so glutes are engaged. Take an inhale, go toward the left. Exhale toward the right. Inhale to the left. Exhale to the right. Inhale to the left. Exhale to the right. Hold. Good. Press the hip forward. Open the chest. Take another inhale. Exhale. Press yourself back up to standing. Good. Take an inhale. Bring that right hand back down to the block or floor. Exhale. Left arm overhead. Good. If you have some balance here, maybe the back leg hovers again. Bend the top knee. Grab onto the foot or the ankle. Find the quad stretch or continue to lean back. Lift the chest. Stretching the belly. Chin lifts. Head drops back if it's okay for the neck. One more full inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, releases that top leg. Exhale, press the foot down. Left hand down, left knee down. Your choice, downward dog or a child's pose. Take a couple breaths there. Exhale, fully. So this next one we're going to add on, it's kind of like a little bit of a sun salutation. So if you're in child's pose, come to downward facing dog. Exhale fully. Inhale, shifts the weight forward to plank. Exhale, knees down. Inhale, right leg extends back. Exhale, knee to nose. Step the foot outside your right hand. Inhale, reaches those arms up, open wide to the left. Exhale, hands to floor. As you inhale, you're going to step back to plank and extend the right leg back. Then inhale, knee to nose. Exhale, extend it back. Inhale, left knee down. Exhale, right knee or right foot steps forward. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, open. Good. Inhale, brings those hands back to the floor. Exhale, take the right leg straight back, left knee still on the floor. And then this time, draw knee to nose as you straighten the left leg, your right knee is going to come to your nose. Bend the left knee to the floor, extend the right leg. Right knee to nose. Bend the left knee, extend right leg. You can always keep the left knee on the floor last time. Inhale, leg bends it back. Exhale, right foot outside the right hand. Inhale, lift those arms up. Exhale, open up. Inhale, 
inhale, arms back to the floor. Exhale, step it back, plank, downward dog or child's pose. So a little bit different action, working the whole core, something a little different. Exhale, fully. Inhale, come forward, plank. Exhale, knees down. Good, this time your left leg's gonna extend back. Take an inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lengthen back. Exhale, knee to the outside of the left hand. Inhale, brings the arms up. Exhale, open to the right. Inhale, hands all the way to the floor. First one as you exhale, step back, plank. Good, take an inhale there. And then exhale, knee to nose. Inhale back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale back, knees down. Exhale, extends that left leg long. So adding on here. So inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, steps that left foot forward. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, open up to the right. Inhale, hands all the way to the floor. This time, as you exhale, step back so that your right leg extends. Left knee's on the ground. Good, and then you're gonna draw left knee to the nose as your right leg straightens, maybe. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Inhale, knee, left knee down. Exhale, step right, left foot forward. Sorry, left foot. Inhale, brings you up. Exhale, open up. Inhale, hands to floor. And exhale, your choice, downward dog or plank or child's pose. Nice big inhale here. And exhale. So we're probably pretty warm now. Go ahead and roll yourself all the way down onto your belly. Yay. Good, so we've worked our front side of our body. We've worked our legs, we've worked our hip flexors. We're now gonna work the back side of our body. Very important part of our core. Most of the time people work on those front side abs, those that core there, and they forget the back side, and it causes the back side to become a little weak. So ground down into the feet. I like to lengthen my legs really to get my hip flexors down, pressing my pubic bone down, and then reach your arms back. Forehead to the floor. As you inhale, shoulders roll back, shoulder blades, arms to the back, press the hands to feet, lift just the chest. Three breaths here. Good, engaging that whole back body, knees are lifting up off the mat. And exhale, release it down. Turn your head to one side, relax everything. You can always stay in that position or add on. So come back to center. Ground down into the feet. Shoulder blades drawn to back, heart lifts, inhale. Maybe exhale, hover the hands. Breathing, maybe pinky edges lift up. Keep pressing into the feet. Take another inhale. And as you exhale, release it down, turn your head opposite way, pause there. Nice big inhale. And exhale. Back to center, adding on again. Ground down into those legs. Shoulder blades draw into back, lift the chest, lift the arms, maybe lift the feet. If it feels okay, maybe arms come out like cactus. If it still feels okay, maybe arms reach forward. Maybe you want a little bit more challenge, hands come to the low back. Good, keep lifting one more breath. And release it down. Turn your head opposite way, pause there. Adding on again. Bring your head to center. Ground down through the feet. Interlink the hands behind the back. If you can't interlink them, take your strap and turn your palms down. Taking those fingers, interlink them. Roll the shoulder blades on the back. Reach the hands toward the back of your mat as you ground your feet. Good. So shoulders draw back. Using your arm strength to lift the heart. One more breath. And exhale, release. Relax the hands, relax the head. Exhale, adding on here. Interlink the fingers so that opposite thumb is on top. Reach those arms back. 
Roll the shoulders back, maybe hover the feet. Good, breathing. One more full inhale. And exhale, lower. Turn your head to one side, relax the arms. One final time here. Come back to center. Reach those hands back, interlink the fingers. Roll the shoulders back, reach hands toward feet. Hover feet, maybe heels come toward those hands. Can the heels press into the hands? Can you lift the knees? Good, take another inhale. And exhale, release. Take a moment. And we're gonna hold for five breaths in Cobra, really working all of those muscles along our mid to low back. Bring your head to center, ground down through the feet. Kneecaps lift, hands by the side, elbows draw back, press into the hands, shoulders lift up, heart comes forward. So engage the glutes, press into the feet, hearts forward, squeeze those muscles onto the back, chin draws forward. One more full inhale, and exhale, release. Gonna tuck the toes, press back nice and slowly to child's pose. Take five deep breaths there. Sitting it back. Nice and slow. Maybe you don't go your deepest straight away. We did a lot of back opening there. You might need to stay up a little bit. Another big inhale here. Exhale. Translating that core into a little bit of our movement of our traditional poses or typical poses. Take those arms, reach them forward, shift the weight forward, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing up. Good, take a couple deep breaths there, stretch it out. If it feels okay in your body and you'd like to stretch things out in a little modified upward dog or a normal upward dog, roll yourself forward plank. Drop the knees to the ground, keep the toes tucked if you're doing modified, roll the shoulders back, let those hips drop forward. Engage the glutes. Open up the chest. And if your knees are on the ground, engage the core, draw the glutes back, hips back, tuck the toes, press back down the dog. Nice full inhale here. And exhale. Put a little bend into the knees. Inhale, walk those hands back toward your feet. Once your feet are firmly on the ground, relax the head. Bend deeply into those knees. Just kind of check in with those muscles we just worked on our mid to low back. Maybe even dangle the neck, release the neck a little bit. And then hands to shins or knees as you inhale, lengthen, straighten the legs. Draw into the low belly. And then hands to your hips. Hands start to reach back, so you're powering up those legs. Using the core, heart draws forward. So you're using from mid thigh to your upper chest here in all of these next poses. Exhale fully. Bend the knees if you need to. Inhale, lifts the chest, reaches those arms. And exhale, hands to heart. Good. Go ahead and come to the middle of your mat and step your feet wide. Don't know about you, but I am sweating buckets. Work in the core. <laughs> Good. So nice long spine. Have your blocks um, nearby in case you need them. So hands are on your hips. Engage those legs. Press in the outer edges of your feet. Roll the shoulder blades onto the back. Pull the low belly in. Take an inhale there. As you exhale, lengthen forward halfway and hold. So you're going to start to feel a little bit in the hamstrings. I want a nice long spine. And then take those arms, they can either stay at your hips if you need that for support, but take them out maybe like cactus. If you still feel comfortable in your core, arms wide like an airplane. Good, keep powering up the legs. You can bend the knees if you need to a little bit. Maybe arms come up forward by your ears. Good, can you continue to breathe? Shaking's good, but can you slow the breath down? Good, another breath here. On your exhale, hands come back to your hips. Inhale, lifts the heart. Exhale there. Good, turn out the right toes. 
and then come up onto the left ball of your foot. So coming into crescent lunge, bending into that front knee. Good, so then from here, hands can stay by your hips. They can reach backward. They have cactus or forward. So you're gonna get to choose. So we're gonna add in that core. So pull up through the low belly, take an inhale. Exhale, reach forward with the chest as you push back with the back heel. Good, hold there. So engaging a little bit of that back body. If arms are reaching up, you're using that side waist as well. Can you continue to bend into the front knee? Power up that leg. Good, take another inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lifts the chest back up. Exhale, either arms like cactus or arms reach forward. Good, take an inhale here. As you exhale, take the right arm, reach it to the back of the room. Inhale, brings it back to center. Exhale to the back of the room. Inhale to center. Exhale to the back of the room. Pause there. Use the core, not your hips, your abs. Take another inhale. Exhale back to center. Inhale, hands to heart. Exhale, left heel down, come to warrior two. Good, so this normal warrior two. <sighs> You've never been so happy for warrior two, I know. <laughs> Good, arms are reaching, legs are pressing, breath is nice and full, so time to find your breath. Another full inhale. Exhale. Reversing the warrior, stretching out the right sideways, lean back, send those right ribs forward, maybe left arm binds, maybe it just trickles down the left leg. Keep bending into that right knee. Another full inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, come back, warrior two. As you exhale, straighten that right leg. So coming into trikonasana legs, press down into those legs. Hands are gonna to come to your hips. So again, you have options. Hips behind the head, holding the strap or the block, just like we did in gate pose, right? So you have options here. Take an inhale here, power up those legs. Exhale, lean to the right. Good, lean, 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 lean. Top shoulder lifts and breathe. Good, press into those legs. Good, open the chest, use the core. Again, if it's too much with hands, hands can always come to hip. One more big inhale. Exhale. Put a little bend into that bottom knee. Inhale, press yourself up. Exhale, relax the arms, bend into that knee. Come into side angle pose. So elbow can come to thigh. Maybe it comes to the blocker floor. Find a good stretch for the sideways to begin. Drawing that right hip under, press into the left leg. Power up the core. And then since we're all about the core with arms, two options here. Hover the bottom elbow. Reach that right arm toward the direction you're looking. Or can it match your top arm? Good, breathe. Good, one more big inhale. Exhale. Press with those legs. Inhale, press and straighten that front leg. And exhale, relax the arms. Oh. Square your hips up again toward the right. Take that left foot in about a foot and out so that your feet are hip distance. And then really square the hips. Hands to your hips. Roll the shoulders back. Take a big inhale. And then as you exhale, start to lengthen forward. Hands are either going to stay on your hips, right? So again, we're using the core, using those legs, using our glutes. Or they're going to reach back, or cactus, or reach straight out forward. So we're not reaching down, we're finding length in our spine, we're breathing into our hamstrings, our glutes, our sideways spine. One more breath. Exhale. Hands to your hips if they're not there already. Put a little bend into that front knee. Inhale, lifts the heart. Exhale, parallel the feet to the long end of your mat. Make those feet wide again. Hands to your hips, take an inhale. Exhale, fold, let your hands come to the floor, relax your back, maybe even round it, get into those hamstrings here. Nice full inhales and exhales. Giving that side a break, kind of noticing what you feel from your shoulders to your hips before we do the second side. Exhale fully. 
Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, hands to hips. Bend the knees if you need to. Inhale, lift the heart. And exhale. Good, turn those left toes out. Come up onto the ball of the right foot, crescent lunge. And so again, your choice with your hands, at your hips, reaching back, cactus, or reaching forward, but now start to lean the chest forward. Good, power off the back leg, push the back leg back as the heart reaches forward. Can you keep bending into the front knee? Nice, long spine, steady breaths. One more full inhale. Hold to exhale. As you inhale, lift the chest. And then exhale, either cactus arms or arms reach forward. Take an inhale here. Exhale. As you inhale, left arm reaches back. Exhale to center. Inhale, reaches back. Exhale to center. Let's try this with a different breath. Take an inhale, hold here. Exhale, rotate it back. Good. One more like that. Inhale. Exhale. It's easier to rotate without air in your belly. Good. Take another inhale here, hold. Exhale. Inhale, hand to center. Exhale, hands to heart as you drop that right heel down. Virabhadrasana 2. And find your happy place in warrior two. No core that's fully being engaged. We're just using our whole body to keep ourselves upright, feeling strong like a warrior. Good. Take another inhale there. Exhale. As you inhale, reverse your warrior. Left arm reaches up. Right hand either trickles down that right leg or finds the low back. Press into the feet. Open up. Relax the jaw. Another full inhale here. Exhale. Inhale comes back, warrior two. Exhale. Inhale straightens that left leg. And then exhale, your choice, either hands to your hips, behind the head, or reach them up. And then in your next inhale, start to lengthen toward the left. Keep your chest rotating to the right. Finding that core. Good, breathing. Can you roll that right shoulder back more? Power up the legs. Good, draw in through the belly. One more full inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, puts a little bend into that bottom knee. Exhale, press yourself back up. Good, arms go wide. And then bending into that left knee, coming into side angle pose. Good. Top arm's going to reach overhead. Find that stretch first. Bottom hand can go on elbow to thigh to block or floor. And then adding on. Find your breath. On your next inhale, maybe that elbow hovers. Maybe as you exhale, it reaches toward the right side. Maybe hands match. Good. Power up the legs. Breathing's nice and smooth. One more full inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, press into that standing leg, straighten it. And exhale, relax the hands down. Good, take your back foot, step it in about a foot, really squaring up the hips to the left side of your mat. Good, both legs straight, hands to your hips. Take an inhale. And then exhale, lengthen forward. Heart comes forward, so again, we're working in our low back. So hands can stay at hips. They can reach back, right hips drawing forward, cactus arms, maybe arms reach straight forward. Think warrior three here. Power up those legs. Breathe. One more full inhale. Everything's working. Exhale. Inhale, hands to your hips if they're not there already. Exhale, put a little bend into that front knee. Inhale, presses you up. Exhale, turn the toes to the long end of your mat. Good, make those feet a little bit wider. Hands can stay on your hips or interlink hands behind your back, your choice. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, forward fold. Hands can always come to the floor if you'd like as well. Finding a nice stretch, kind of relax through the upper back. Breathing into that sideways. 
low mid back. Try and relax the neck. Legs active. Breath smooth and steady. Exhale fully. Inhale, hands to hip if they're not there already. Exhale, hands to floor. As you inhale, lift and lengthen. As you exhale, bend into those knees, heel toe those feet so that hip distance made a little bit wider. Drop the hips into Malasana. Good, elbows into those knees, rocking a little bit, dropping down, round the spine here, like drop in for a moment, get into that low back, and then press the chest up, lengthen the tailbone back, like you want to do a little cow pose. Okay, and then maybe do a little cat cow here in Malasana. If you have Bakasana practice and are craving an arm balance, please feel free. I don't want to stop you. Just for some reason when you get in this pose, sometimes you just want to lean forward and hover. Sometimes. Other times you're happy right where you are. <laughs> Good. A couple more breaths here. Exhale fully. Good. Wherever you are, plant the hands, lift those hips, come into a nice little forward fold. And then turn, face one end of your mat, step it back into downward facing dog. If you'd like to do a vinyasa, you're more than welcome to do that. Slowly winding down, we're going to stretch all that out now. Inhale, takes that right leg lifted up to the sky. Exhale, heel to bum, open up, feel that hip flexor stretch. Press down into those hands. Inhale, leg lengthens back up. Exhale, draw knee to nose. We've been here before. Now step the foot forward and then let the back knee drop. Good. Shift the hips back. Come up, hands to your knee. Roll the shoulders back and then tailbone drops as your hips drop forward. So chest stays up here. And then if it's okay, arms reach. Good. So feeling that stretch, maybe you start to bend your elbows like cactus and open the chest, feeling that stretch all the way from the top of your sternum all the way down into your left knee. If it feels okay, maybe hands interlink behind the back and you open the chest there. Two more breaths wherever you are. If your arms are back behind you, lift the chest first. Release those hands, taking that left hand down to the floor. Take that right arm up to the ceiling. Find a twist. If it feels good to power up the back leg for a deeper twist, please do. Maybe to take that top arm overhead. Another big inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, top arm reaches. Exhale, circles that right hand to the floor. Straighten the back leg if it's on the ground. Step it back down, we're done. Big inhale there. Exhale. Inhale, left leg reaches to the ceiling. Exhale, heel to bum, open it up, press into those hands. Inhale, leg extends back out. Exhale, knee to nose, stepping that foot forward. Back knee is going to come down. Good, shift the hips back, hands to your knee, roll the shoulders back, tailbone drops, chest lifts. And then if it's okay, arms start to lift. Drawing that front heel toward your back knee, engage the back glute. Maybe hands come wide like cactus or interlink the hands behind the back again, opening up the chest. Chin lifting, feeling the stretch from sternum to hip, maybe down to the knee. One more full inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, chest, chest lifts. As you exhale, right hand to the floor, left arm reaches, find a twist. Lean away from that top thigh, maybe power up the bottom leg. Maybe top arm reaches overhead. Slowing the breath down. Inhale, top arm reaches. 
Exhale, circles that hand to the ground. Straighten the back leg if it's bent. Step it back, downward dog. Taking one last vinyasa if you'd like it. And then making your way onto your back. Bring those knees down. Coming all the way down onto the back. Once you're on the back, come back to that first position of the day. Connect here from that first position to this position. And notice the difference. Notice you feel different places, feel more heat, feel more stretched out. We're just going to do a light little hip stretch on each side. We worked our hips a lot, holding those outer hips to gain some more control. So take your right ankle over your left knee and then start to draw that knee in. If you'd rather do Gomukhasana legs, you have that as an option. Send that right hip slightly further forward if you're in the figure four. Flex both feet and then lengthen the tailbone toward the floor. From here, we're gonna go into a twist. So you have the option of maybe eagle leg twist, maybe it's the one leg twist. I'm gonna go with just one leg here. You're gonna place your feet back on the ground. I'm gonna take my right knee into my chest. If you're doing eagle legs, that's gonna cross over your left leg. Shift your hips to the right, and then take your knees to the left. And then taking your top arm, and then have the palm face up, so that right arm, and just kind of do little circles, half circles, like little angel wings, back and forth, kind of getting into the shoulder a little bit. And then wherever you feel a stretch for your side waist, which might be with your hand further up overhead, relax the arm down. Finding that stretch in the side waist with this twist. Exhale fully here. Inhale, bring the knees back up to center. Exhale, place the soles of the feet on the ground, shift the hips back to center, and then take that left ankle over the right knee. Draw those knees in toward the chest, flex through the feet, lengthen tailbone toward the end of the mat as that left hip draws forward. Can you relax the jaw? Can you find yourself going deeper into your breath, into your body? Really being curious about each of these stretches here. Exhale fully. Coming into the twist as you inhale, right foot to floor. Exhale, shift the hips to the left. I'm going to draw the left knee into my chest, right leg long, and then lengthen that left knee toward the right. And I'm going to hover my left shoulder, and I'm just going to keep the elbow bent and moving that arm up and down, just checking in with the shoulder a little bit. And when I feel a nice stretch, I'm going to let that arm relax and find a deeper twist. Exhale fully. Inhale brings the knee back up to center. Exhale brings both feet to the floor, bring the hips back to center. And then pausing here for a moment. If you feel like you still need to stretch out the front side of your body, you can always rest your hips on a block for about a minute and then go into Shavasana. So if you feel this might feel good to stretch out the front of the body. Otherwise, draw those knees into the chest, give them a little hug, and then maybe a little happy baby. And then when you're ready, extending those legs out, coming into our final resting position of Shavasana here. Draw those shoulder blades onto the back. Let that chest open, lengthen out through the legs, let those toes drop out to the side. Let your palms turn up and your arms slide a little bit away from your body.
And then press the back of your head into the mat, maybe rock it a little bit from side to side. And then take a nice deep inhale through the nose. And side out the mouth. Two more times, inhale at the belly, ribs and chest expand. Hold on to the breath for a moment. Sighing it out, letting it go. One final time, inhaling, drawing that air in, let the ribs expand, let the belly become soft, and let it go. As you let go, let all of your muscle energy relax, let your breathing become softer, let your mind settle into rest. Taking a few moments here in Shavasana, in silence, take rest. If you have more time and this is feeling good, feel free to stay here longer. You're at the end of your time. On your next breath, allow some movement to come into the body, into the fingers and toes, the wrists and the ankles. On your next breath, take your arms, reach them back behind your head, slide your feet together, give yourself a long stretch. Maybe take an extra breath there, stretching out the front side of the body. And then slowly bend the knees. Maybe windshield wiper the legs, maybe hug the knees into the chest, whatever's going to feel best for you to end your practice. And then when you're ready, using your arm as a pillow, roll over to your favorite side, pause there for a moment. Checking in, allowing yourself to bow into your crook of your elbow. Scanning over the body, checking in with the mind. 
And then when you're ready, mindfully press in with that top hand, extend the top leg, pressing yourself up mindfully, coming all the way back up to seated. Once you've found that comfortable seat, allow the hands to come to the heart center, closing the eyes, allow yourself to come into the room, onto your mat, and into your body. Connecting again with that intention, that purpose of your practice showing up today. And holding that on, holding on to that in your mind's eye and allowing the strength, the energy, and the breadth of this practice to help you as you transition from that purpose on your mat and taking it off your mat into your day ahead. We'll seal everything in with one final ohm or sigh of the breath. Exhale fully. Take a nice full inhale. Ooh. Bow your head slightly. Take a moment. Think of one thing in your life that you truly are grateful for. And then holding on to that image in your mind's eye as you raise your head with a smile. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for exploring your core. Drink lots of water, eat your veggies, wear sunblock. Namaste.